Good day. Okay, my name is Oliver Kalaoli David, and I'm popularly known as King David. So I welcome you to the official educational consult. And firstly, before we proceed, I want you to do something for me. Please, I want you to click on the subscribe button on your screen so that whenever I post something good, you'll be able to benefit from it. And this is how you do it. After you have clicked on the subscribe button, you will see something like a notification bell. So just click on that too. Please, before I proceed, can you just do that for me? Please. Okay, having done that, thank you. So now we can proceed. Okay, in this video, I'll be taking you through exponential. And whenever you see a question like this, this is simply um, a question that you need to solve with exponential. This is an exponential equation. And then, if you have a question like this, one thing I want you to target is, now this one that is in the bracket, which is 2 raised to power x, and then you must be able to derive that from the first thing you have here. Now you have 2 raised to power 2x, and how do you split this? Now, from one of the laws of indices, we know that these two powers are here, 2 and x. We can actually split them into two. By doing what? That's by doing it this way. Because at the end of the day, by the time we multiply x times 2, it will still give us what? 2x. So now you can bring out these 2x from this by doing it this way. And that's the first step to do. And then the next thing is minus 6 over bracket 2 raised to the power x plus 8 equals to 0. And now, since you have your 2 raised to the power x here and here you have your 2 raised to the power x, then you say let. You can use any letter. So for me, I'm going to make use of y. Let y equals to 2 raised to the power x. Let y equals to 2 raised to the power x. And what this thing simply means is that anywhere you see y, you put what? You put, uh, anywhere you see 2 raised to the power x, rather, you put y. So from this equation, whenever you see 2 raised to the power x, you should simply replace it with y. That's what this thing means. And that's going to be what? Instead of 2 raised to the power x, you will write what? y raised to the power 2 minus what? 6y plus 8 equals to 0. And then you can proceed to solve this using quadratic equation. And this is a quadratic equation using factorized, um, factorization. Yeah, you can use that. Or you use complete square method. Or you use the quadratic formula, which is also called the almighty formula. So it depends on anyone you are using. And then if I'm going to use factorization, let me just do it simple and short. So the factors here are what? Um, that's going to be minus 4y plus, okay, that's minus 4y minus 2y, right? So that's going to be y squared <coughs> minus 4y minus 2y plus 8 equals to 0, right? So you group it 2, 2. And then that, okay, so y is common here, y minus 4. What's common here? Minus 2. So that's y minus 4, 2. So now, since we have these two the same, yeah, it's correct. But whenever you're solving a quadratic equation and you arrive at this point and you see that these two brackets are not the same, that means you have made a mistake somewhere and then you have to cross check. So now, from that, we're going to make what? y minus 2, y minus 4 equals to 0. So I'm assuming that we all know how to solve quadratic equation. And then if you don't know how to solve quadratic equation, you can actually check other um, teachings that we shall be posting. And that's why you have to subscribe and click the notification button. So that whenever I post videos like this, you can be able to benefit. And then, that's going to be what? So if you solve that, that's going to give you y equals to 2 or 4. And now, having gotten your y as 2 or 4, and then from there, the, sim the simple thing you have to do here, Okay, I'm going to clean this. Okay, now, having gotten your y to be 2 or 4, then you recall that y equals to 2 raised to the power x. Hope you all remember that. So that was the first thing we did when we wanted to start. And that's, that's what? Now, your values for y, you are going to input it, same thing here. So that's going to be what? Okay, firstly, we said y is equal to 2. So that's going to be what? If y equals to 2 raised to the power x, and we said y equals to 2, that's 2 equals to what? 
true raised to the power what? x. And what you're having here, ordinary 2 simply means 2 raised to the power 1. Hope we know that. So 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. Why? Because n 0 raised to the power 0 is 1. But when you say 2 raised to the power 1, that's 2. Do you get that? That's why I simply put that power there. And then you can actually cancel, cancel. You are cancelling this and this because they are the same. If this is 3 and this is 2, that's not possible. But it's because they are the same, so you can cancel, cancel. And then we arrive at x equals to 1. That's for the first one. And then we'll try for the second one. We say y is also 4, right? Okay. Now, if y is equal to 4, equals to 2 raised to power x. Remember, it's because y equals to 2 raised to power x, right? So now that's going to be 4 equals to 2 raised to power x. And then, 4 is raised to 2 raised to power 2. You target this 2 you have in here. And then you can break it down on how you can make 2 reflect from 4. So that's going to be 2 raised to power 2. And then that's going to be what? Equals to 2 raised to power x, as usual. Just like we have here. And now, you can cancel these two since they are the same. That's 2 cancel 2. And then you can have your x equals to what? 2. So now the final answer out to this um, exponential equation is going to be what? x equals to 1 or 2. And that's the simple answer to this equation. So whenever you come across this in your...